And a two in the chat, please, if you can see me, if you're the unlucky person who is able to see me. Brilliant. Okay, so who have we got in here today? Sorry, guys, do you know why I'm two minutes late? It's because Leon wanted to be fed and he was not going to let me go. Uh, Alamidi, Simona, Sean, Pika Pika. Uh, who's this? We've got Andrew, Kevin, Kalina, Ignacio, Elijah, Roberto's, Roberto's. Natalia, Georgia, Mr. Sims, nice to see everybody. Hope you are all doing well. Oh, I thought I had my screen share on. I'm sure I put it on. Okay, you know where to go. You know exactly where to go. And guys, what we're going to do, right, is, um, yeah, it's good that we fed him. Exactly, let's go there. And let's go there and... Um, once we've gotten there, guys, what I want you to do is um, I want to check to make sure that you've got all your image code correct. Has anybody not got their image? Put, a, put, a, put an IMG if you don't have an image in there. An IMG. You don't have an image in there. Okay, let's go and sort that out now then. Uh, let's go and sort. No, you're not late. Right. I, I hope I hope I hope you can get back into your website. Okay, perfect. Okay, right. Well, let's go through that quickly again one more time. We'll put the picture in and then we're gonna start doing our list. Okay. An an unordered list. What's the code for unordered list? Somebody quickly tell me. No problem, Simona. We're gonna come there now. Well done, Simona. Well, exactly. Perfect. Great. Very good. Well done, Kalina. Uh, who's whatever? Olamidi. Fantastic, Olamidi. Well done. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Olamidi. I'm going to be doing animation. Um, brilliant. Okay, guys. So let's go to the top. Let's go back to the beginning of this and we'll go over to Glitch and uh, get our projects all set up. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Actually, no, I'm going to share my whole entire screen. So here we are. So you can all see how we go that. So obviously at the top here, I have my glitch button. And guys, you just need to click your glitch button today. Okay, so just click your glitch button there. Fantastic. We're on the screen here. Um, perfect. So we're on the screen. Oh, let me just log out. Sorry. I do apologize about that. So let me come back here. Click this button here. Glitch. Fantastic. You'll come over here. Top right hand corner. Top right hand corner, which is log in. Let's log in and choose the correct Google password. So I'm sure you've got Facebook, GitHub, or Google. You know how to log in, guys. But in case there, and Mr. Hines, I'm going to choose that one. Okay. Fan dabble dozy. Brilliant. And then when you get to the bottom, remember you have all of your lesson, uh, your projects. And the project that we're doing at the moment is our animal website, our favorite animal website. And here is the code. Let me know how, Mr. Hans, why they're red next to your line 23. That's because there's a mistake, Roberto. Okay. So who's has everyone been able to access? Simona, no problem. Um, you should be able to access yours, though. Yeah. Brilliant. Kalina's in there. Simona. Okay. I don't, I don't know how. Um, do you know what, Simona? What I'm going to do right now is I am going to give you um, screen sharing uh, capabilities and you're going to show me what, what's going on here because I need to find out exactly what's going on. Okay. No problem, guys. We'll get there in a moment. What's wrong, Olamidi? Can you not get in? Sean, are you able to get into yours? You guys don't know how to get into your projects. Okay, what's your project called, Simona? Is it Doggo, Doggo Cat Floofy? Click on the name. Yeah. Give it a moment. It will go, go, wait patiently. <laughs> nice one, Ignacio. Fantastic. You're in. Well done. You happy now? Perfect. Now, the next one is who else wasn't able to log in? There was one other person. Elijah. Elijah, share your screen for me. I'm going to give you the opportunity, opportunity to do that now. Where is Elijah? Elijah, you can share your screen now. Do you know how to do that, Elijah? Okay, so Elijah, if you look at the, t I'm, I'm going to share my screen and you should be able, I'll show you where it is. So over here, you see this image, it's got three green circles here. You'll probably have one that is red. 
and you need to click on that one. It's this one here with the two computer screens in it. Okay, click this one and you'll be able to share your screen. I'm going to end my share screen and then you can do that as well. Oh, so, I'm, so Natalia has found out that you can reply to people's messages. We are we are in trouble now, aren't we? <laughs> so, uh, Elijah, if you click the share screen button and you can show me, but it's exactly the same way Simona just did it. So I'm just going to quickly show you whilst I'm waiting for you to do that. But like I said, you click on the glitch button here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to log out of my account. Look, watch, watch my screen now, guys. Watch my screen. So when you log in, at the bottom of the page, you need to click on the black writing. So look at my page now. You should have projects coming up. So your page should look something like this. Scroll down. And here, you've got Mr. Hines Animals, Ambiguous cork, Bird Cork, and Water Surf Area. Click on the writing, the black writing, and you'll see that my web page is opening up there. How are we doing, guys? You should be able to, Sean. It's just, it's just a Google login. What's wrong, Olamidi? What happened? Share your screen, Olamidi. I'll give you the option. Guys, I do want to move move forward quickly. Do you know what, guys? What I'm actually going to say to you, uh, moving on for the next uh, month, please. Um, no problem, Ignacio. We can do that. We can do that all. Uh, you're, you're in, Olamidi. What do you need help with? Oh, the picture. Right, okay, so what you can do, yeah, did you copy, so Olamidi, delete everything out of line 24. That's correct, uh, Kalina, you will have video. Edited. Press enter on your keyboard, Olamidi, fantastic. Now go back up to line 23, refresh it, Elijah. Now come back to the chat. Actually, no, no, no. What I'm going to tell you to do, no, no, no. Go, go, go back to your code. Actually, Olamidi. Yeah, fantastic. Now open the HTML bracket. Yeah, you know how to do that. Yeah, yeah. So open it. That's it. IMG. This well, guys. I'm showing Olamidi how to do it now. So if you are having problems with the image, this is how we're doing it. Space SRC. Lovely. Now, equals, which is at the top of your keyboard. Do you know where to find equals? Fantastic. Now, in order for you to do a speech mark, hold the shift and press number two. Oh, no, you're on, a, you're on an Apple Mac, are you? Okay, I see your issue. Are you on an Apple Mac, um, Olamidi? You're on an Apple computer? Don't worry, guys. We're going to get round to everybody's going to get help. I have put the image text at the top. Dell. Okay. So hold shift and press two. Hold down shift and press two, Olamidi. No? Are you holding shift down? Yeah. Okay. So what you need to do, Olamidi, you need to find the exclamation marks but before we do that what we can do is can you go into your assets for me olamidi good well done click on your picture and then copy that information click the copy button fantastic all right come out of that go back into your html really good olamidi you're quite quick now i want you to is there too much of a space in between the image and the src no, there isn't. Now copy and now just paste. See what happens. No, uh, after SRC line twenty three. Now go back, go back, go back. Delete all that. Yep, and then go into twenty three. Copy and paste. Yep. Fantastic. Now I want you to do a. You need to find where the speech marks are on your keyboard. To be honest with you, if you look by your um, 
arrows on your keyboard, uh, Olamidi, and you have the shift button above it. And above the shift button, you may have it round there. There we go. That's it. And then you've got to do one at the beginning where the equals are, SRC equals, yeah? That's it. And do another one there. Fantastic. Now, what I want you to do is you need to now close that to do a closing IMG tag at the end of that image. Yep. So close the IMG. No, you know how to close it. Yep. Open bracket. That's it. Forward slash IMG. Forward slash. Yep. No, so you have to, yeah, just press it once. You don't need to press the, there we go, IMG. And then close that bracket. Good girl. Hmm, no changes there, no? Let's have a look. I think what's going on with this one is that the, yeah, go back to the assets and copy that information again. Well, it should be correct, to be honest with you. Copy that information again. Okay. You need to close the first tag. Mm, I don't think you do. Don't think you're doing this one. I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Ignacio, but I don't think you're doing this one. Okay, guys. Yeah. And then try repaste that back in. Can you close your screen share now, Olamidi, whilst I get through to everybody else's at the moment? Okay. Thank you, Olamidi. Re put that code in and see, let me know how it goes. Okay um right fantastic okay guys so i'm going to share my screen now and remember i've put that code in to i pinned that on the top of the chat right so i'm going to do that again so that you guys can see that so we need to everybody's image to be get to start right as you can see i've got my image there remember you can copy that i'm going to put in the chat you can copy that, paste it into the chat, into your code, sorry, on your image, and then just change the image source. Because if you remember yesterday, we explained what this code actually means, didn't we? And this code shows that we have an image and a source, the source of the image, and that is that code that is there. So you remember I said yesterday, you just need to change that blue one to your code in your thing. And I'm going to show you how to do that now, actually. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to end the sharing. And if you just watch me for one second, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. OK, so I've got the text here for my image. I'm going to copy that like so, right click and copy it. And you can do that along with me now if you want, okay? Fantastic. So we've copied that. Now, I'm going to, good, well done. Uh, let me choose the correct screen share. Oh, it doesn't matter. And so I'm going to take this out now. So there you go. That's all gone. On line 23, I'm going to control and paste. And that's that there. Now, what I want you to do, guys, is watch me carefully, please. I want you to take everything that's inside the speech marks, take that out, okay? Literally delete it so it looks like this, okay? Then you're going to go to your assets here, choose the image that you want. And I'm going to change my image now to this one just to show you what I mean. I'm going to copy this here, copied. I'm going to go back to my index HTML. I'm going to go, I'm going to put my cursor in between my speech marks, and then I'm going to right click, or you can do Control and V, okay? And now when I go back to my website, that image should be of the cat with the sunglasses there. Just give it a moment to load up, and there we have it, the cat with the sunglasses, okay? That's exactly what I need you guys to do, okay? How have you done with regards to that? What's wrong, Ignacio? Did you do what I just did? Because you should be able to do it, Ignacio. I'm not sure how you can't log in, Sean. You should be able to log in. It's, it's really simple. Just use your Google login. Uh, Ignacio, how's it been going? Mm. 
We'll do that. Don't worry. Don't worry. We haven't got there yet because we haven't, Simona, good question, because we haven't put our center alignment, we haven't given it any attributes at all. We haven't done that CSS yet, have we? So when we do that CSS, we can move forward. Yeah. I just want to make sure that everyone's got the image in there. They know how to do that. It says, refresh your page, Ignacio. Refresh your page. Yeah. Ignacio, uh, share your screen with me, please. Did I give you the option? No, give me, share your screen. But I want everybody, you've got that text in there. I need you to copy and paste that. You need to obviously have the images in your website. And you need to know this as front end developers. Oh, your client says to you, oh, can you put, uh, we've just made some new photographs. Can you put some of these photos on our website? And, um, you know, if we need to make sure that we know how to do this quickly. Oh, that looks great. Who's this bears rule? Glitch me. Um, definitely, that's definitely Natalia because she's always putting links to her music. She's fantastic at music promotion. Great, Natalia. Looks great. You, is your image working, Kalina? Right, press X on that format the file. You don't need to format this file. Ignacio, click on the um I think it's working, Ignacio. Go click at the top. Where yeah, go on and show show me. Next to the code. Yeah, it's working. All good. Thank you, Kalina. Perfect. Okay, guys, do you know what? Because we've got our video uh, our, um video editing lesson coming up. Um, we need to go onto our Kahoot and we need to train our minds. So if you don't mind heading over to Kahoot.it for me, please. Uh, and we are going to, I'm going to, I was going to put some new really hard ones in, but we'll, we, next week I'm going to put some really hard ones in there. If Leon didn't want his dinner, then I would have put even more harder ones in there. But we have to give Leon his dinner. He's a hungry, hungry cat. So guys, head over to Kahoot.it. Here we go. And whoever's consistently uh, spamming, I'd really appreciate if you didn't do that. Lovely. No, it's not about cats, Pika Pikachu. It is about HTML and CSS, your favorite subject. Guys, please make sure who's there. Uh, Okay, we will do a book kahoot about cats. I'll join it and I'll wipe the floor with you all. Yeah? You want to talk about cats? My son is a cat. <laughs> Eight? Come on, guys. We've got a lot in here. Let's go. Let's get you in there quickly. Leon's great. He's got a full belly now. He's probably going to go back to sleep for another 12 hours. Have we got eight in there? Come on, guys. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who are we waiting for? We've got the majority. We need more. I'm going to give you one more minute because Mr. Sims's video editing lesson is uh, going to be starting soon. And he's a stickler for time. He had a meeting about it the other day. Brilliant. Ten. Are we going to get any more in there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Sims. <laughs> okay, guys. 30 seconds. Here we go. 10 in there. Guys, I'm going to start it because I don't want to mess around with Mr. Sims. Okay, here we go. Look up HTML, CSS. Let's get this done in eight minutes' time. Make sure your images work, guys. Which character is used to indicate an end tag? You should all know this. I want however many people... Sit uh correct answers dot blue star yellow hash or green sorry slash or green bracket 
Well done. What? You lose? Oh, I see what you meant. I see why you said that. Fair enough. Minecraft, cat, pika pika, bear, Georgia. I didn't upload the, uh, I didn't in, in, improve the uh, leaderboard, did I? Which is a smaller heading. Yesterday, I was so surprised at how many wrong answers we had on this one. I was quite surprised, guys. Make sure we get this all right this time. Come on. Better. Much better. I think someone was just pressing it to be funny. Pika Pika, Minecraft, Cat, Georgia, Bear. I know who all of those are. Choose the correct HTML element for the largest heading. The largest heading is which code, guys? Which code is the largest heading? That's correct. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see. Fantastic. Let's move forward. Pika Pika, well done, Roberto. Use the correct HTML tag to make the text italic. And by the way, I fixed everything, by the way, on this Kahoot. There's like two mistakes and I fixed them for you guys. Exactly. Precisely. Good. Oof. Oof. Good and bad. Good and bad. Let's move forward. We're tech clubbers, remember? Bear jumps right to the top. Well done. Pika Pika in fifth. Georgia moves to fourth. Well done. Cat is on fire. How can you make a list that lists the items with numbers? Is it an ordered list? An NL, a number, or a UL? With numbers. What do you think it is, guys? Make a list that lists the items with numbers, which we will be doing shortly. We just needed to make sure that we had the images correct there. Fantastic. It is an ordered list because the numbers go in order. Very good. Cat, well done. Big change. Georgia, Pika, me and Bear. Let's keep going. What does this tag mean? You should all know. Is it an underline? Is it an un unordered list? Is it a new line or is it an ordered list? You should. You really should know this one. If you were paying attention in the last one, you will definitely get this. Very good. Not good at all. That's wrong. That's wrong. I didn't fix everything then, obviously. That's wrong, guys. It should be an ordered list. It shouldn't be an ordered list. Sorry about that. I'll, that's not fair, is it? Me. Went to order stuff. Which is the HTML opening tag? HTML. Forward slash HTML. In brackets, HTML forward slash. Yeah, guys, sorry about that. That was an unordered list. I don't know why it said order list. It's an unordered list, which means it's not numbers. You can put it in as, as many as, as you want. It's not going to be chronological chronological you know minecraft who is minecraft is that roberto ivanov which is correct which is the correct one is it uh exclamation mark doc type html forward slash doc type html doc type html forward slash ampersand doc type html oh it's roberto e it's minecraft Where's Roberto I? Are you in here today, Roberto I? We've got Roberto. Yeah, that's it. Pika Pika. Oh, okay, Roberto. Where's the other one? Oh, Dogman Roberto. Okay. Yeah. We, we're a club full of many Robertos. Minecraft, Cat, Me, Georgia, and Bear. Which is a link? Oh, this is a good one. Which is the link? Oh, we did this yesterday as well. Which one's the correct link? I almost got this wrong. Yeah, now I know which one is right. <laughs> now I know. I knew, but, you know, I was like, really? Is that right? Sorry, I should have read that to you. That's right. So the red one doesn't have the equals. Remember, it's got to be a href equals. Yeah, equals. The red one didn't have the equals. I, I'm pretty sure a lot more of you got that right yesterday. Natalia moves into second place. Minecraft Robbie at the top. Which characters are used to indicate an opening tag? 
you know that one. I'm not even going to waste time reading that one, guys. Very good. I'm pretty sure you guys were very aware of that answer. Just move forward. What does this tag start? What does this tag start? Does it start an image site, image sound, image sacrifice, or an image source? Good, it was an image source. One more spam, spam and I'm cl closing the chat. Okay, let's move forward. Guys, it's really important that we ensure as a club, all the teachers here, that every child gets the same amount of education like every other child. It's really important. So please try to be make that aware. What is the correct CSS for adding a background color? What is the correct CSS for adding a background color? We did this yesterday, you've done this before. Oh, but maybe two of you haven't done it, haven't done this. But you should probably know those two. Kalina. We're gonna get onto that, Kalina. Don't worry. That's right, background, dash color, hyphen, uh, sorry, colon, red, semicolon. Keep an eye on that code, guys, because that is going to be coming up a little bit later. Well done, Georgia, you moved to fifth place. What is the correct HTML tag for inserting a line break? I'll fix this one. So what is the correct one for a line break? Is it red, break, uh, backslash, blue, break? Uh, okay. <laughs> well done. Everyone's faster than me. I couldn't even finish it. That's how good you are. Image source equals cat. What will this piece of HTML do? Add the word cat to your page. Change the alignment. Change the style of the font. Add an image of a cat. Let's also watch how we're talking, guys. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, let's move forward. Next one. Oh, no change on the board there. It's a battle. Choose the correct HTML tag that makes the text bold, important, I, strong, or B. I fixed this from yesterday's, guys. I fixed this from yesterday. So choose the correct code. Good. Well done. It is strong. Oh, cat moves into first place, jumps over Minecraft. Great. You've got two more questions. Who's going to get the correct one fast? Which is the correct syntax language? Is it title, my website, backslash title, uh, forward slash, forward slash, title, my website, backslash, title, title, my website, backslash, title, or forward slash, title, my website, backslash, title. Sorry, it's backslash. All righty then. You guys are amazing coders. Fantastic. Next, last question, who's the fastest? How can you make a list that lists items with bullets? Un, uh, unordered list, unordered list, unordered list, ordered list. What's the correct one? We wanna make a list that has bullets, so it's not, I was about to give you a clue then, but I'm not gonna. Remember guys, that, ouch. Why is it an unordered list? If it doesn't have numbers, it's an unordered list. If it has numbers, it's an ordered list. Why? Because numbers go in an order. Yeah. If it's just a list, for example, the list on my website, that's an unordered list because it doesn't have numbers. All right. Remember that. Don't forget it. Lovely. OK, let's see who won. And then we'll hand over to Mr. Sims. Third place, 14 out of 50, 17 was Minecraft, Roberto. 15 out of 17 was me. I got that right. And then in this first place, 15 out of 17, but they were the fastest, was Cat. <laughs> Who was Cat? Was it Mr. Sims? No, no, it wasn't. How are we doing, guys? Sorry about my camera. It's so bright. The way the the sun's coming through. Is it too much? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Simona, Simona, was that you who won? I need to know who won so I can put it on the. On the Sorry about my camera, guys. I'm just gonna say it from the off. 
Thank you very much, uh, Simona. Thank you very much. Hey, Ignacio. Sorry, Mr. Sims. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so, um, uh. guys, uh, well done. You won. Uh, Simona, I'm going to add that. You've got two points. Simona's in the win. Stanhope's in the win, uh, in the lead. Well done. I'm going to add that right now. I'm going to hand over to Mr. Sims. He's much better than me at a lot of things. There we go. It's very true. It's very true. So how are we doing, guys? How are we doing? <laughs> What do you think uh, we're going to use today for our lesson? What um, what browser-based video editor we're going to use today? I'm going to put it in the chat now. If someone puts it in before me, no. Yes, it's Clipchamp. That's it. Let's go to www.clipchamp.com. I put it in the chat there for you guys. I'm going to pin it to the top. There we go. So let me do a screen share. Open in the browser. Champ, share. Okay, here we are, guys. So, um, what was we doing last week? Who can tell me what this is in my editor? And what was we doing last week? What what footage was we working with? What type of videos? No, no. Yes, Kalina, a green screen. Exactly, got it first time. Well done. Exactly. That's it, Robbie. A green screen. That's it. That's what it was working with. So obviously, guys, you have to log in to get there. So let me just come off my project and show you all how to log in. So guys, you go to pipchamp.com and you go to login and then we sign in with Google. Let's go. Just a moment. And we're in and we should be on this page. And basically, is this, uh, <laughs> these are different uh, projects, but I can't look into the you teach me one, so I'm gonna create a new project. But guys, your project should be there, already saved on that page. So is, let me, you'll give me a one when you're on that page, guys. Of course you can, Ignacio, but. Let's not do it today. Why don't you email it to me and I can watch it? Because today we're not sharing other vids. We're going to um, show everybody how to add a background to the green screen. So, guys, are we all on our projects? Remember, guys, guys, remember the last lesson? We saved some videos. We logged in via ClipChamp. It's in the chat. Let's go there and get to our green screen video that we was working on last time. Nice one, Kalina. Guys, give me a one if we're all at ClipChamp and all in our last project, please. Nice one, Kalina. Very good. Nice one, Pika Pika. Nice one, Simona. Nice one, Ignacio. Okay, cool. So we can carry on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just carry on. Okay, cool. So I'm going to have to add some media, but it's cool because I'll go through that with you again. Let me title this again. Green screen. Nice one. Yes, we know. It's changed a little bit, hasn't it, again? But we're going to go down to media. Have you seen, guys, actually, PitCamp has an update. Um, so these icons on the left are a little bit different. But we're going to go to, we go to my media or we want to go to stop video yes we do and we want to go perfect for green screen and let's add that to our timeline no and you do not want to upgrade now so once you've added it to your timeline you can come out of there and then you have your green screen in the timeline guys can everybody tell me what can anyone you can Kalina yeah but try and follow through this I know you might know how to do a green screen already but um it's a good idea to follow me on this one, just so we get the complete knack of it and we all follow. Oh, okay. Look, yeah, you can pick a different video though. Kalina, you can pick a different green screen video from the stock footage. So guys, let me do that again for you. We wanna go down to here, stock video on the left. Obviously there's an update, so there's new icons. Go to perfect for green screen and add that into your timeline by clicking the plus button on the bottom right of the video in perfect for green screen and then that will go into your timeline guys tell me what, can anyone tell me what a timeline is 
What's the timeline in the editor? Yeah, there you go. Nice one, Simona. Simple and correct. When you edit your video, we put everything together and then we get shown that in the preview window here while we're editing. Okay, guys. So I've got my green screen. What, 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 what is green, a green, how would you explain your own words, guys? Um, you know, every, there's variations of this answer, but it all goes to the same thing. What do you use a green screen for? Like, what would you want to use it for? Let me know in the chat. Nice one, cat woo woo. Remember guys, let's try listening in this lesson. Yeah, to get the same background. Yeah, exactly, we can put something, well done, Simona. You can't hear me, okay. Uh, can you refresh your feed, please? Yeah, exactly, exactly, nice one. Exactly, Kalina. So, yeah, it, it basically green, we use a green screen because green is a really easy color to take up the background of a video. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's called keying the color out and then we could put another picture or something else in the back. So, um, yeah, that is what a green screen is used for. So, how, do you remember how we did it last week, guys? We go to filters. So scroll down to the bottom, so filters up the top here, and we go to green screen, and then the background is taken out. And see why well, there's no green color behind the nurse or the doctor we have there. So let me just do that again. You click on it in the timeline here, you go to filters, we scroll down, and we click on green screen, and then it will take out the green screen. And it's actually called keying out the color. Is the actual uh, technical word for it, guys. Yeah, it's kind of a filter. It's in filters, but um, yeah, it's, it's in filters on ClipChamp, but it's not a filter. It's more of a keying out the color. But in this occasion, the filter does it for you. Yes, Kalina, that's correct. So, guys, can we all do, are we all up to there? Let me know. Give me a one if we're all at the same place. Have you all been able to take the green background out of your stock? footage video. If not, I can go through it again, but please give me a one if you have. If you haven't, um, get it, get it, you got two minutes to get it done now, <laughs> and then you can give me the one. So guys, let me know. Sorry, Mr. Sam, we're just making you aware that I've put the moderated chat on because uh, not all the conversation has been based on topic. So please keep- Very the true, yes. So sir, can you see the moderated chat? Yeah, I can. Okay, brilliant. So I'm gonna leave that with you, okay, sir? Okay, yeah, cool. Nice one. Okay, guys, so um, let me have a look. So give me a one if you're there. Nice one, cat. Woo woo. Guys, put a one in there if you're there. If not, can you go through again and how to get the no green screen filter? Of course I can, Kalina. Okay, guys, let me go through it again. I just saw a lot of people going on topics. So I'm just trying to get us there all at the same place. So, okay, let's just start a new project. Let me go back to create a video. Here you go, I have a new project. I'm gonna call it Green Screen 2. Sorry about my camera grinds, I really am. It's so bright outside. Green Screen 2. Okay, cool. So here we are. This is, when you first create a new project in ClipChamp, guys, you're gonna have this blank project. Let me go down to my media, not my media, sorry, stock video got perfect for green screen here, right? You go to see more and we'll add that to our timeline. So we have this lady here in a matter of seconds. So now you've pressed that uh, plus button on the actual video, guys. You can then um, add that to your timeline, which it is now. And as Simona said, it's where we edit the video and the timeline's down here. So you've got it in your timeline. So guys, have you all got, just let me know again, give me a one if we've, all got, if we've all got that in the timeline. Have you all got our green screen footage in the timeline? Are we at the same place? Nice one, guys, nice one. Cool, cool. Let me know if you haven't. Watermark just means um, you all have ClipChamp's logo on it. It's like a, it's a logo that they have on the bottom right-hand corner of a video, and it's to protect, to say it's their content. 
Okay, whatever. What uh, what problems are you having, by the way? Yeah, what what's up? What help do you need? Put that in the chat and I'll try and help you. And then once we've done that, I'll get on with it. Okay, guys, let's just carry on. Um, so once we have the green screen in our timeline, which we pretty much all have, we then go to filters. We then scroll down and we click the filter green screen. And what that does, it keys the green background out of it for us. And there we have a lovely lady there and there's no background. It's just her in the video. The rest of the video was cut out. The green screen has been chroma keyed out. You don't have filters anywhere. It should be at the top, um, Kalina, at the top. Let me just, here, can you see that? And when you click it, it should pop up. And there you go, green screen. You have it now, all right, amazing. Remember to click green screen on it. Guys, once we're all at the same place as me, Mr. Sims, then um, you can give me a one in the chat and we can move on with the lesson because what I want to do is actually put um, like a background picture behind this for you. Uh, so we're at the next step. And is there any questions as well? Let me know in the chat. Nice one, Simona. Nice one, Ignacio. Who is what, whatever? Who's called whatever? What's your name, whatever, so I can help you? Okay. Help me doesn't help. That's all I'm meeting. meeting. Okay. Uh, could, could you maybe? Okay. So what is it? What is it on a media? What What do you need help with? What What are you stuck on? If you put it in the chat, I can help you. I have missed some of the lesson, but all the is difficult for us to go back, unfortunately, to try and keep up. This good, this lesson is recorded, and you can grab it uh, on our YouTube, and I'll put it on the YouTube straight after. Okay. Obviously, basically, all the If you've um, used Kitchamp before, uh, just open up a new project. Go to stock footage here on the left-hand side. It's a bit of an update, but it's this one here where my mouse is. And then add that to the timeline by clicking the plus button here. And I'll give you a minute to do that and catch up. So watermarked, I did actually say already, didn't I, Kat? Watermarked is basically the logo of Clipchamp on the footage. It's because we're using the free version, so they watermark all their um, clips and all the clips we make on there. It's so they get free advertising in return. That's actually why they do it. What's up, Simona? What's up? Sorry, I'm going through the moderated and the... Okay, that's absolutely fine too. It will work the same. Yes, it will. Exactly. It will work the same, Simona. So let me get on. I'm going to stop checking the chat now. I'm going to carry on because I think we're all pretty much in the same place. And on a media, if you can get some screen footage, screen green screen footage from the stop media and put it in your timeline, that'll be amazing. And then to make it have uh, get rid of the green background on a media, you go to filters, you scroll down, and you click on green screen. Okay, let me just. That's a different filter. It's not the one I want. There is some really cool other filters you can use on here, but for today we're using green screen. So there we go. Cool. Right, so now what do we want to do? Well, we want to add something to the background now we've got rid of the green screen. Sorry that, sorry about my video feed again, by the way, guys. Um, so if we go back down to stock media, and you know what, Simona said she wants to put a video behind it, so Let's go ahead and do that. Um, make it fun. All right, let's put a hippo behind it. Why not? Not that that makes any sense. So when you press the plus button, the hippo, which I'm using for the background for this instance, is going into the timeline. 
but it's that's still not going to put the hippo on the background of this lady. So what we're going to have to do is, is click and drag that below the lady on the timeline, as you can see there. And then, there we have it. You see that? The lady is now pointing at the hippo behind her. And that's because, why do you think it only works if we put the hippo content below the, the um, layer with the lady in it instead of above? Why do you think that is, guys? Can anyone give me a reason why? Yeah, it does pay at the same time. What's up, Simona? Nice one, Kalina. Oh, really? Where are you up to, Simona? Are you up to... Um... Okay. Oh, you found it. Okay. Cool. Remember to put... Guys, let me do that again for you. So I'm going to take this hippo out. So guys, what we want to do is we want to add some a video to go behind this lady, which we've just taken the green screen out. And I'm actually going to go and do this lesson again next week for you guys. The reason being, well, because it's quite a complicated one and um, it takes a few times to get the hang of it. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go through all this again, I think. Um, but for now, just follow me. So I'm going to put some stars behind the lady this time. So when you put it in the timeline, it automatically goes in line with, goes onto the same layer as the lady. And what you want to do, you want to put that video underneath on a new layer underneath the green screen video, right? And then that's how you get the, the background to work with the green screen that you've used to take out. How do you cut the background? When you mean cut the background, uh, what do you mean by that, Kalina? Okay, you mean cut the background so it's the same length as the group. Okay, let me get, let me show you that as well. If I, I think I know what you mean. So what you want to do is use this split tool here, Kalina. Can you see it? It's the scissors. Split, it's just above the timeline here. And you do this, move the cursor on the bit of video you want to cut and click split. Doesn't seem to be working in the way I want it to though. So click there. There you go. And then you can just press backspace on your keyboard actually. And there you go. Now both the bits of video are running at the same length. So you've got one piece of video there running together. Is that answer your question, Kalina? Fantastic, fantastic. Sorry, I have been through that in previous lessons, but I know you're new to Clip Champ actually, Kalina, so I should have gone through that. So guys, what are we thinking? Give me a one if you're happy. Um, and give me a one if you've managed to put a background behind your green screen video. Nice one, Katawu. Nice one, Kalina, very good. Also, guys, I just showed you how to neaten it up as well. Nice one, Simona. Remember, save it. We're going to show it. You know, at the end of every tech club, we always have a show and tell with our videos. So don't worry. Um, I just want to show you a, sh a few more different green screen and filter tip tricks uh, this week, guys, actually. So, guys. Everyone okay? Who isn't okay? How are you doing? Um, on the media, how, how are you getting on? Uh, also, Roberto, who else am I missing? Kevin, Rachel, let me know how you're all doing. Let me know if you're up to the same spot as me. And then we're going to do last week's Kahoot to see. Okay, amazing on the media. And then what we're going to do is a Kahoot in a couple of minutes. We're going to do the same Kahoot as last week, the Clip Champ one, just so...
because I remember last week we, we learned the basics of ClipChamp and how to use it overall. So uh, let's go through that again just to refresh our memories. Uh, but let's do it asking you questions on a Kahoot. So guys, any questions? Any questions? Uh, we've got a minute until we start the Kahoot. So any questions, uh, throw them my way in the chat. Um, guys, refrain from it if you can. You can export it, yes. Um, but refrain from it if you can, because we're going to have a show and tell lesson in a couple of weeks, guys. So don't worry, we'll be able to share all our videos. Just uh, be patient, because we've got more tips and tricks to learn at the end of the day. It does save automatically, yes, Galina. Just remember to title it up the top here. Remember, see where I've put green screen too. Now, if I come out of that, back to videos, it should be there. Yeah, see there it is. Saved automatically. Just make sure you title it, otherwise it will just say untitled here. It's better to title it so you know exactly where to go back to and what video to go back to. Nice one, guys. Nice one, Kalina. Very good, very good. You seem to be doing very well in this video lesson. Okay, guys, let's start the Kahoot. Let's start the Kahoot. Why not? I think we all pretty much learned that today, didn't we? And also, I'm going to go through it again on the media next week, actually, exactly how to do that. I'm going to show you guys how to use some of the other filters with some footage as well, just for some fun. And then... Uh, We'll spend a lesson making, just making videos, and then we'll spend a lesson just showing videos as the last two videos, guys. So yeah, everyone go over to Kahoot. Let me pin P, because it's spoke correctly there. And uh, I'm gonna start this one. Not too many questions, guys. Not too many questions. All questions you should know in this one. Actually, there's one or two trick questions kind of in there, but not trick. You've been through them before, and you've done this Kahoot before. Okay, let me just get my screen share on for you guys. Sorry about my video feed today, guys. I'm gonna try and sort that out for next week. It's starting to get really sunny here. 2776219 if you wanna join, guys. <laughs> nice one, Simona, nice one, well done. Remember, guys, we're all gonna share our videos soon, so don't worry. And we're gonna have a lesson of just making videos. Uh, not next week, the week after, so. Um, you're going to have a whole half an hour to work on your videos. Whole half an hour of the lesson to just work on your videos. And to ask me any questions. And in that half an hour, I can help all of you as well. So it should be really, real good fun. So I can really help you do what you want on your videos for the show and tell for the week after. Come on, guys. I want to see all of you join. How many of you in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got in eight. Two more people I'm expecting in, guys. Two more people. I think two, two or three more people. But two's enough. Two seven seven six two one nine, guys. Two seven seven six two one nine. Are we all in? Have we got everybody in? Still just eight. Am I gonna? Am I, should I go with eight guys? Am I? Who am I waiting for? Can anyone tell me? Why don't you want to join, Cat Woo Woo? Katawu. Just join, just join. Just a bit of fun. You'll probably get them all right anyway. Okay, fair enough. See you all join. Okay, I think that's enough. I think we're going to go the start. Basic video editing. Three, two, one, quiz. What is ClipChamp, guys? What is it? I think you all know this. A web-based video editor, an award-winning video advertisement professional web editor, award-winning video camera. Which one is it? Nice, all 10 of you got it right. Perfect. The C mobile phones top, Georgia Wonka Who is second, Pika Pika third, Unicorn fourth, not Natty 
fear for people. It's natty though. Okay. Identify the workspace. Is it a timeline, a menu bar, preview monitor, or media library? Nice one. It's the timeline. Oh, got it right. Fastest fingers first. No change to the leaderboard there. Guys, okay, three out of six. Identify the workspace again. Is it a preview monitor, media library, menu bar, or timeline? Which one is it, guys? Preview monitor. Guys, even with the update today, and this is showing not the update pictures, you're still getting it right, which is really cool. Four out of six, identify the workspace. Timeline, menu bar, media library, or preview preview monitor. You can actually do uh, cancellation on this one to get the answer right if you don't know. It's the media library. It's not the menu bar, guys. It was a bit more tricky, but it is the media library in the top left. And actually, that's a pop-up now in the new update that we was using today. So I'm going to update this Kahoot for you next week. Don't you worry about that. So what is a resolution you can export with a free account? You don't all know this one, but what is it, 24720? I, I think a lot of you do. And uh, Kalina, I don't know if you've actually done the export before, but you might have seen the question before. That's right, it's 480p, not 1080p. No, you can't do it with the free account, the one that we're all using to do the editing guides. No change on the score. Actually, no, not Natty. It's gone up to third. Well done. I think it is Natty. Six out of six. What do the stars on the footage represent? Popular clips, premium clips, recommended clips, or long clips. This isn't too relevant, to be fair, but this is part of the basics of clip chat. It's premium clips, not popular clips. Very close. I guess that's going to decide who's coming first on the podium. Third is me. I don't think it was me. Second is you see me. And first is... Not Natty, well done, guys, well done, very good. Georgia and Unicorn, very close. Okay, guys, did we learn a lot today in today's lesson? I feel like we took a while to get going today, didn't we? Was, did you, do you think you all know how to use a green screen? Remember, in different editors, it won't always be in the filters how you take them out. If you use different editors, like Kalina did, um, she says she uses Premiere Pro. That would actually be Chroma Key in there. Okay, on a media, we're gonna go for it next week, okay? <laughs> yes, you said yes a minute ago. Uh, okay, on a media, we're gonna go over it next week again, so don't worry, okay? Yeah, yeah, Not nor have a lot of people, Kalina, so this is a really good thing to learn because a lot of people wanna have cool backgrounds and stuff like that. Okay, guys, do you know what? I'm gonna leave it there with you, so, um, See you next week, guys. Make sure you join Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the same time, 4.30. Tech Club, uh, Mr. Hines, Miss Boucherine, myself, Mr. Evans, all going to be there again. And uh, on a meeting, remember, don't worry, we're going to go through the green screen next week again. So don't worry. Yeah, by YouTube. <laughs> nice one, Pika Pika. Okay, I'm going to end the lesson in a minute. Take care. Nice one, guys. Nice one.